you probably know that after rendering, there's an extra process to fix your image or animation, and why we need that, cause raw render is just raw. So today, we will go through a simple composite process to elevate your render before sharing. In case you have a scene opened, fix your render settings and hit the render button, once that step is done, let us go to the composite area. In the top bar, check the use node option, this will open two nodes, we also need a viewer node to see the render image, so hold ctrl and shift then click with the left mouse button on the render layer. This will make the render appear in the background. We can now scale the image and place it in one of the corner to make it visible and easily work on the node tree, our work will be on the viewer line. So let us start with the color correction. First, hit shift A to add a hue saturation node, then place it on the bottom line. With those values, it's always experimental depending on the scene. For this one, I will go with something around 1.5 for the value slider just to brighten the render a bit, and maybe make the saturation on 1.1 to give the colors a stronger appearance. After that, we need another color correction node for the contrast. So with Shift A, add the bright contrast node after the saturation 1, and let's experiment with the contrast value to see what fits the scene. For me 0.5 looks enough, you can by selecting any node hit the letter M to mute it and view the original image before editing by that node. Once we are done with the two color nodes, we need some lens effect, so let us start with some glare, hit shift A to add a glare node, and place it after the contrast, this glare node has some types, and we will use two of them, first one is the ghost type, this will add a big center glow effect or that what seems to me, however it's cool, so I will add it here, and let's make the threshold on 0.6. Then I will make another copy from this glare node by selecting it and pressing Ctrl D, the second copy will be on fog glow type, this will make the bright area shine in the image, and that works for exterior and interior scene if you have spots on the ceiling. The threshold in the fog glow will be 0.4 at least for now, we might change it later. Another node we need in the lens correction and that's the distortion, so add it after the second glare, this one gives a real camera vibe, a distort effect of 0.2 is fine in most renders, and make sure to hit the fit option to stretch the image over the black sides. There's also the dispersion effect which real camera lens has, and a similar value of 0.2 can give you a great effect. We did render this image with a transparent background to show you how to add a sky, so let's do that. We need first an alpha over node, this will go up first, right after the render layer, and you need to make the render image on the second slot. You can by now get a background color if that's enough for the shot you have, however if you want to add a sky image, we need an image node, add it then open it to select any sky image you have on your hard drive, then connect it to the first slot in the alpha over node. The sky is way bigger than the render, so to crop it. Add a crop node and place it between the sky image and the alpha node. For the crop dimensions, we can copy the same dimensions for the render frame to the crop node, in my case it's 951 by 1080, 
You also need to check the crop image size option to place the render and the sky over each other correctly. To add some fog effect or mist on the render, we need to check the mist pass. This will add a new slot in the render layer node, however, this slot have no information of the mist pass, so to view the mist in render, we need first to adjust it, by switching to the mist pass render view, then in the world settings, increase the start mist value until you get a black foreground, cause the white area will have the fog, so I will make the start value on 8. Then we need to go back to combine render view and re-render the image to get the mist pass data. Once the render is done, go back to composite, and let us add a color mix node, we should place this last node before the alpha over, however, I will place it first after the alpha to show you the difference, so once the mix is in place. Connect the mist pass to the mix factor, you can after that control the mist with the second color. And here's the problem with placing the mix after the alpha, we lost the sky image we added, and we also got this weird stroke on the edge of the render layer. So for me the right place for it is before the alpha, then we can control the mist strength with the second color and adjust it for any shot we have. And that's the basic 4 arch viz post process in Blender, 2 nodes for color correction, 2 or 3 nodes for the lens correction, and we had the alpha for the sky then the mix for the mist, super easy and can take your shot to a different level, you can now switch to rendering, change it from the render result to the viewer node, and save it as you save any image, see you guys next time, stay sharp, goodbye.